it going everybody welcome back to another episode of casual customs Vinny here and welcome back to the final day of brake installs and rear axle build so uh, finally got our new brackets back um, you know I showed you how we had to cut them up last time well, we got them redesigned to be at nine and three got them split into two so it's time to get these on but here's let me show you real quickly the evolution of these brackets we have gone from these original ones that I bought to these ones that we had made to then getting them redesigned. So it is now finally time to get this thing back together. First we're gonna start with, we're gonna get everything taken care of the rear diff, then we're gonna get all the brakes on. All right, so as we can see, I've got decent it's kind of towards really this uh, this outer point of the gear here. I want to move it in more this way, so I'm probably going to bring the pinion this way, shim it a little bit. We're gonna add one more shim, should push it in, and then we'll do our backlash. I'm not an expert, but uh, just based off what I can see, that's what I'm thinking. All right, well, I've made a massive mistake, and I have messed up the threads on the pinion gear. So now I am... Uh, Gonna at least take my time to uh, take apart the center console. So we are running our handbrake brake line. Uh, in the meantime, because I have uh, ruined that pinion gear. Luckily, Amazon now has overnight shipping. So uh, they are shipping me one. It said it'll be here between 4 a.m. and 8 a.m. So uh, that should save us tomorrow. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start get these brake lines ran. Uh, that way, at least we're good to go with that. So that when I get the pinion back together and the rear end back together. I can just throw the brake brackets on, have everything plumbed up, and then start bleeding the brakes. All right, so we are adding a grommet for that hose to run through on the floor. Just using a 5-8 step bit to drill that. Poke a hole, feed it through. So uh, it's Sunday morning, um, I made a mistake yesterday and marred up the uh, pinion gear, threading. So I uh, wasn't able to do anything on Saturday because without having that pinion put back together, can't put the brakes back together. So I basically wasted that whole day. But luckily, Amazon now has overnight shipping. So it is 7.30 in the morning on Sunday and my package got here. Like. 645 which is awesome so uh we're gonna get get the new pinion gear out of there and get back to getting everything together so uh be careful when you're doing this because obviously taking it in out in out in out to get all your shimming and everything you don't want to damage that because then you get to deal with the problem i did ordering a brand new one so let's uh get this taken back apart and get this in such thing as a mistake, just happy little accidents. Exactly. So, I just want to apply just a little nice medium amount of paint onto your brush. Nothing crazy, just enough to get started. I'm just going to gently 
get some nice strokes inside of the gear, gear rim. Oh, it's beautiful. As you see, I'm not trying to do anything perfect. I'm just trying to really cover the surface. Okay. I'm going to do about three gears on both sides. Some of you out there are probably thinking, shut the f up, Benny. Fair enough. Well, okay then. I'd say we're not lined up. Not at all, because we're not taking any paint away. Mm -mm. I need to go that way. We need to shim this way. I got some dirt in these holes for some reason, so I'm gonna take my pick and just kind of clean those out. And then uh, we're gonna get the gasket on, throw the diff cover on, fill this. Well, hold on. Actually, don't listen to me there. Before we do any of that, gotta get the axles back in, get the C clips on, get our plug on, and then get our our snap ring on. So uh, I almost missed a step, and I would have been very mad at myself. Oh, yeah. All right, so we're using some Valvoline 80 weight 90 gear oil. Um, this is just what I found is the best recommendation. I really like Valvoline stuff. It's the oil that I use, so so I went ahead and went with their uh, their gear oil. But you're going to need 80 weight 90. And then this is optional but helpful. There's a little pumper. You can stick the hose in, stick this in there, and. Before you start adding liquid, just, you know, go through a mental checklist. Did you put every seal in? Because if you're an idiot like me, you might not have.
bolted up. So these are going to be the factory brakes. These are going to be the brakes to the handbrake. Um, so I still got to plumb everything up. Uh, I'm probably going to shorten this old line because we got to come all the way back to here. And then we got to run the rest of the new ones here. But uh, I do have to get some parts on order. Um, so I'm not going to have them plumbed up today. really doesn't matter because I can't drive the truck anyway. Uh, still got to get the drive shaft back hooked up and that engine rebuilt. But uh, got these in. We're going to go do the other side. But I'm uh, not going to show you this twice. So uh, I think we're going to end the video right here. So thanks for watching another episode of Caswell Customs. I'm Vinny. Uh, go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. See everything that's going on with the truck. See you in the next one. You stole my heart of gold.